The number is chilling and almost unbelievable. It's estimated that on average, every day in this country, 22 veterans commit suicide. And there are places like the VA and other agencies that offer support for veterans struggling with post-traumatic stress syndrome, or PTSD. But many of these veterans don't get help. And tonight, the mission one Lexington couple is on to stop veteran suicides after a deep personal loss. To his friends, co-workers, even his father, Michael Meade appeared to be on the way to a great future. The Marine had served in Iraq and Afghanistan as a combat crew chief, flying helicopters on support missions and amassing hundreds of combat flight hours. But looking back now, his father sees signs something was not right. I think he was running. I think he was running from his experience. He didn't know how to deal with it. Um, felt responsible to carry the burden on himself. George Meade says after the service, his son returned home and immersed himself in academics and work. Michael graduated from UK with a master's in architecture with almost a 4.0 GPA, took a job with a top design company, and even taught classes at the university. Michael worked crazy hours, crazy hours. His father says Michael worked 80 to 100 hours a week. But I encouraged him to take time off. Take time off, Mike. You need to take care of yourself. Find the balance is what I used to tell him. Find the balance. Father and son look for adrenaline rushes like whitewater kayaking and rock climbing. A time for Michael to share some of what he experienced in combat. I think the most difficult experience Michael had combat-wise was the downing of a helicopter that had 31 of his uh, peers on board. Michael felt personally responsible for the death of 31 of his peers. I know that was very hard on him. None of his co-workers that we've talked with saw anything. None of his students or colleagues at UK saw anything. Everybody just seemed to think everything was yeah. fine. Everybody was completely shocked. Last September in Lexington, Michael took his own life. My, my world came to a stop. We're still wondering why, and we will never have those answers. He didn't, ha he didn't have an avenue to turn. He didn't see the VA as viable, which bothers me. Um, he didn't see other agencies as viable. Who are they going to? I mean, that's a, that's a huge question for us. The commissioner of the Kentucky Department of Veterans Affairs says many veterans who commit suicide don't look for or find help. Of the 22 a day who take their lives, we consider that a conservative estimate. But even more troubling is that only five to seven of those 22 are anticipated to be what we call VA involved veterans, those veterans who are in the VA health care system. The former Miss America grew up in a home with a father who suffered from PTSD after fighting in the Vietnam War. She supports a program the Meads are bringing to Kentucky. It's called Vet Life Kentucky modeled after a veteran support group in New York started by Victor Montgomery. It's a peer-to-peer -peer support system using combat veterans helping combat veterans. Montgomery, a Vietnam War vet who suffered from PTSD, has a background in psychology, counseling, and has written a book on suicidal veterans. Many of these families have chosen to step out and say, I don't want this to happen to someone else. So yeah, a peer-to-peer -peer network and veteran-to-veteran -veteran specific programming Yes, I we'll think it's great. It. Absolutely. The hope is a non-governmental, non-clinical environment will attract more veterans who need help. I don't want anybody's parents, anybody's sister and brother, I don't want anybody's child to get the phone call that we got. I, I can't, I can't, ex I can't do that. The first peer-to-peer -peer support group with VetLife Kentucky met in June at Crossroads Christian Church. They meet every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. It's free. And the Meads hope that the grassroots effort will spread to other Kentucky counties. We have links to several veteran support groups on WKYT.com.